Well, this is a special time of year in the European footballing cycle. It's where it all begins again. The lifting of the trophy, the winners' medals. That was all back in May. A mere reminder, a wreck of the glory that was and what may be to come, perhaps, for one of these. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. So here it is, what we've all been waiting for. Make sure you are strapped in and ready to go. Bring it on, Peter. I'm looking forward to a competition that always delivers entertainment, whether through its football or indeed its supporting cast of, of emotions. Neither of these teams will want a, a trip back to the drawing board after this, so I think we can expect something quite lively. As you can see, we've already started here. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Kevin De Bruyne. He's just one of the best strikers of the ball you'll ever see. And that applies just as much to his passing game as it does to his shooting prowess. He generally likes to keep things simple, taking as few touch... Gets up to head it! Harmlessly behind. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. Modric, Vinicius Junior. He's had a goal! And out to safety. And it's Modric. Just brushed off the ball there. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. And here's Mares. Hoists it forward. De Bruyne. Has a hit! And that's off target. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. Real Madrid are playing very deep here. They seem happy to let their opponents have the ball. They're not bothered. And it's Mares. Mares is on to it and can take it up. Cut out in the nick of time. That right side seems to have become a very good outlet for them now. No doubt this is an area they've identified as a potential weakness in their opposition and they're willing to exploit it. Well, the defence have two choices, deal with the man or, or deal with the space. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Now it's Modric. And it's got through. Great leap! Goal! Real Madrid! Real Madrid are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. So we have our breakthrough. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Gundogan. It's found its way to him. Mara. He's had a shot! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class weight. Fernandinho 
Laporte tries to get it forward quickly. And there's the end of the first half. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, it hasn't exactly got the plan so far, but there's no need to panic. There's still plenty of time to get back into this. As always, an early goal would help swing things back in their favour. So we're already into the second period. Manchester City need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Sergio Ramos. Marcelo. Marcelo with the crossfield ball. Vinicius Junior. Benzema gets it out to the wing. Modric. And it's Tony Kroos. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Aguero with good energy in defence as well. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Time to deliver. Good ball. Chance! He's going... Oh, that is asking for trouble. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Well, Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Just has to be done. <laughs> and it's played forward. Uh, more than happy to take the muscular approach. And now they can launch a counter. Vinicius to goes for goal! Sticks it away! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Time for a change in personnel. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Real Madrid get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Casemiro. Real Madrid are more than happy to defend deep now. They've decided that it's not worth taking any more risks. It's a very different story for their opponents, though, who just have to throw everything at it and hope for the best. Oh, that's neat. And that has been clear. David Silva plays it forward. Sterling has a run down the left wing. He's got the ball glued to his feet. Mendy plays it in. And that's been won straight back. This is purely a case of a poor end product. They've got to add more pride to their work. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Modric. Just five minutes remaining now. Vinicius Junior. Vinicius Junior! And it's there! And they are pulling clear here. A moment that needed composure, and he had plenty of it. Ah, oh, that's just clever. He made the keeper think he was going one way, only to outfox him by going the other. 
Very nice. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Real Madrid can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Real Madrid take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Otamendi. Uh, ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. And the referee brings it to a close. So the first game is lost, and there is ground to be made up. The margin for error significantly reduced. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Well, we can't dress it up.